Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today I am installing this Garmin Ecomat Plus 7.3 SV. Uh, in the last video, I installed the transducer. It's all set up in the back. Um, I'll have a link in the description below to go see that video. Uh, if you're just in, interested in transducer installation, you might check that one out. Um, but this will cover the wiring and insulation of this um, Garmin right here. So uh, stay tuned and I'm going to get this one mounted in front of my steering wheel. Also I have another video that will be in the link in the description below. It's the complete unboxing of this Garmin and it shows everything that this comes with and what's in the box if you're interested in buying this guy. So uh, go check that one out also. You might even check that one out before you watch this one. So make sure you actually want this product. At the end, I'll turn it on and kind of show you the different features that it has. So. First up, it comes with secured mounting holes right here that are adjustable. If you don't want to rotate or anything like that, you would use these. If you want to be able to rotate your graph around like this, it comes with this guy, which goes on here and you just kind of force it around there. That has three screw holes you can put on here. Um, honestly, I will never be able to rotate this because of the windshield. So I think I'm going to do a fix mount installation and I won't need this. I have this rotated one on the front of my boat and it actually works very well up there. So ignore this. Um, my grandpa, this is his old boat that I bought from him and he had this cup holder right here. It's kind of in the way so I had to peel it off. I'll clean that up later. Do a temporary test fit where you want it. It's going to sit right right on the old pad where the old transducer was so that's where I'm going to keep it. If you have any obstructions make sure you give yourself enough room to get this guy in. Keep in mind that that slides in from the back like that. So that's going to put this about right there. Be careful with your drill. Make sure you don't over drill into anything that might be below. So be real light on your drill hole right here. All right guys, found some screws. Keep in mind the Garmin does not come with any. Either that or I lost it, but I'm pretty sure they didn't come with any. So these are a little bit longer than what I was using. So it should be a lot easier to install. Clean all that up later. This thing is not going anywhere. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick plug overview. You got your um, pan optics. I will not be using that. That's very expensive. I hope someday I could own that, but I'm not using that. Um, I got the sonar plug from the transducer that I installed in the last video. NEMA 2000 is a functionality that allows the front and back ones to work together. Um, I don't think I even have it on the front one. A anyways, I won't be doing that. Maybe someday. And then your power. So you can go ahead and put these two caps on if uh, you're not using them. And um, get ready for the sonar and power installs. Alright, I'm going to get down below and check out where I need to drill. And make sure I don't drill into anything. We're pretty clear down there. I'm going to pre-drill uh, a hole here. We'll 
simple guys I took this one and three eighths and drilled a hole right there but it's probably a hair too big if you guys have something smaller use it I don't so I just use what I had handy I'm gonna get the shop back and clean this up all right guys in the last video I loosely have ran this cord up here I'm gonna feed it up through here Next you have this guy with a built-in fuse. This is the power cord. It will be fed up through here also. Put those right there. Your Garmin comes with four of these black zip ties. I definitely went and bought some more. But I'm gonna use this uh, to bunch these together and Gonna give me enough slack so it's adjustable. I'll go down through the hole like so. This is the connection plate to the Garmin screen, which is awesome. It makes it easy to take this out, and then you have a plug right here to cover it up keep people from stealing it. So um, first, let's hook up the power cord. There's a little notch right here. Line that notch up. Plug it in. Screw this down. Your power cord comes with some instructions right here. And um, you want to put this clamp around it like so. I will show you how to do that. You want to cut these right here, which you just kind of bend it back and forth, they'll break. And I'll clean these off right here with a little snip. clicked comes with this little waterproof rubber ring right here slide that over and then line up your notch just like the other one and then this screws down all right Pretty good. Let's get our handles. Let's get them started. The right one more so than the left one, so I can get it to fit. And give those a medium tightening. About right there. Um, we'll tighten those up later. It is super hot today, so sorry about all the sweating. Um, but we're going to be looking for a power cord. And I believe I have one right here. I'm going to try to figure that out. It's from the old one. And I'm going to wire it up to this Garmin. If you don't have one, um, you'll have to wire back to your battery. And whatnot. The nice thing about the Garmin is it has a built in fuse on it, so that's always a good thing. I was guessing, man, this one has more prongs on it, which means that's power. So, this whole wiring is pretty jerry rigged. So, I'm going to have to do some tracing. Alright guys, I found the old power cord. It was uh, tucked way up in there, but I found it. 
I'll have to figure out what these are later. I'm not sure what these are for. Keep in mind this is live. So disconnect your battery. Guys, this is a really jerry-rigged installation back here. So I'm gonna fix this for safety reasons. So I can make that cut now, right before the head here. Snip. It's got a red and a black in it. Cut that back some. I've got my handy dandy box of electronic stuff. I'm going to do a little stripping of the wire right here. There we go. I got the red and the black exposed now. All right, guys, I got those stripped back like so. Got my power source here. You got four different ones. You pro probably won't need these. I'll clean that up here in a little bit. Going to use some very small butt connectors. Uh, the smallest one I have is 1.25. So this is what I'll be using. I got some heat shrink I'm going to put over the wires here. Twist your ends and put this one in. Red to red. Alright, now we're gonna test. I'm gonna give this a old test a here. Alright, guys, I made a mistake and I put this in upside down, so I'm gonna flip it over. Alright, slide your Garmin in there. It's alive! Great navigation feature on this. That's awesome. This is what I was wanting. My front one does not have that, so I'm glad this one has it. And I need it more behind the steering wheel when I'm driving anyways, so I don't need it as bad up there, but it would have been nice to have up there. Get your sonar. This is a lot like the one up there. Side view. Clear view. Got your uh, volt reading over here, 12.2. Temperature, water temperature right here, and depth. This is also a depth range right here. Pan optics. This is just a demo. I don't have this. I wish I did. But you can literally see the fish. Wow. No wonder that costs so much. scope. Look 
at all those fish right there. So this has a uh, gauge option. Kind of cool. Wind speed, all that stuff. Sunrise, sunset. Wind information. Engine, which I do not have this hooked up. This is a feature that it has, but I don't have any kind of engine uh, items hooked up. Plus, my engine's so damn old that that probably doesn't even work. And your typical traditional sonar. Yeah, this this one has a lot of settings. I know on my last one you have to set up this active captain. Um, so. There's a lot of videos online about doing that. So you will have to set that up. So, shut this off. All right, now I'm gonna tuck the cords away and get everything tightened up and finished. We're pretty much installed to this point right here. Um, a lot of stuff going on underneath, so I'm going to change the camera angle and I'm gonna wrap up some wires down there. Alright guys, I need to heat shrink these and clean up my loose wires. You guys probably aren't going to like how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to use the lighter. I do not have a heat gun. Just apply it for a little bit and pull it off. That should be about good. These guys aren't needed on my installation, so I'm going to trim them back. Pretty much just going to cut the ends off of them so it's not exposed. And then I'm going to tape this up. Guys, I looked everywhere for electrical tape, so I'm going to have to use the next best thing because I couldn't find it. I'm going to use duct tape. those up here out of the way. Tighten it up just a little bit more. It's probably overkill, but... Makes me feel better. A pretty fresh install underneath there. Everything's tucked away. Everything's strapped down. 
that's gonna do it for today guys um, I got this Garmin installed it was pretty difficult super hot sweating like crazy but um, it's gonna be worth it once it's out on the water uh, this is gonna be awesome so hopefully I can use it to find some fish um, I got a lot of cleanup to do there's definitely a lot of mess to this um, but I won't bore you guys with that so make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will do a on the water review with this uh, also check out the link in the descriptions below and I'll have uh, some end cards at the end of the video for you uh, I do a complete Garmin unboxing it shows everything that's in this guy and um, my last video I did a transducer mount installation which led into the Garmin getting installed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if uh, you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe. I have videos out every Saturday and it's just not how to. I do a lot of outdoor videos so hope to see you become a part of the Redbeard Outdoors family and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Catch you later. Bye.